our prayer. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. So, good morning again everyone. Today is Tuesday. How's your day, class? Okay, very good. Okay, now, I will be checking your attendance. Say present if I call your name. Ansal? Amsilani? Dalani? Mustajid? Very good! No one's absent for today. Are you ready to our lesson for today class? Okay. But before we will proceed, let's have a recap. What was our lesson yesterday? <clears throat> Any idea? Yes, Cheska. Very good. Our lesson yesterday is all about the law of motion. Class, what can you see on the board? <clears throat> yes, Aldrin. Very good. So, who want to answer the first picture? Anyone? Yes, Brittany. Very good. The first picture is moon. The second picture. Who want to answer? Class, please participate in our class. <clears throat> yes, Anna. Very good. The picture is sun. And another one. The third picture. <clears throat> this row. Yes, Daisy. Very good. The, the picture is Earth. And the last picture. Want to answer? Yes, Jim Boy. Very good. It is Saturn. <clears throat> so, class. Please keep quiet because you will watch a video presentation. Listen carefully because after you watch, I have a question. Okay? Our solar system is one of over 500 known solar systems in the entire Milky Way galaxy. The solar system came into being about 4.5 billion years ago when a cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed, resulting in a solar nebula, a swirling disk of material that collided to form the solar system. The solar system is located in the Milky Way's Orion star cluster. Only 15% of stars in the galaxy host planetary systems, and one of those stars is our own Sun. Revolving around the Sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and jovian. Terrestrial planets, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid, they don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. 
The smallest and closest to the Sun is Mercury, which has the shortest orbit in the solar system at about three Earth months. Venus is the hottest planet, with temperatures of up to 867 degrees Fahrenheit due to an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and extensive lava flows. Next to this world of fire is a world of water, Earth. The water systems on this planet help create the only known environment in the universe capable of sustaining life. The last of the terrestrial planets, Mars, might have also supported life about 3.7 billion years ago when the planet had a watery surface and moist atmosphere. Beyond the four terrestrial planets of the inner solar system lie the Jovian planets of the outer solar system. The Jovian planets include gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The gas giants are predominantly made of helium and hydrogen, and the ice giants also contain rock, ice, and a liquid mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four Jovian planets have multiple moons, sport ring systems, have no solid surface, and are immense. The largest Jovian is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its signature rings are wide enough to fit between Earth and the Moon, but are barely a kilometer thick. Past Saturn are the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. The slightly bigger of these ice giants, Uranus, is famous for rotating on its side. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system and also one of the coldest. Orbiting the terrestrial planets is the asteroid belt, a flat disk of rocky objects full of remnants from the solar system's formation, from microscopic dust particles to the largest known object, the dwarf planet Ceres. Another disk of space debris lies much further out and orbits the Jovian planets, the icy Kuiper Belt. Apart from asteroids, the Kuiper Belt is also home to dwarf planets such as Pluto and is the birthplace of many comets. Beyond the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud, a vast spherical collection of icy debris. It is considered the edge of the solar system since that is where the gravitational and physical influences of the Sun end. Our solar system's particular configuration of planets and other celestial objects all revolving around a life-giving star make it a special place to call home. the video okay hey first question in what planet do we live yes Christian very good Christian answers earth the second question, how many planets in our solar system? Yes, Brittany. Very good. The, <clears throat> the planets in our solar system is our eight, our eight planets. So, the last question, who can answer? What are the name of eight planets? Yes, Aldrin! Very good! <coughs> Nakinig talaga kayo, class, no? So, the eight, eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Nep, and Neptune. Our topic for today is all about the solar system. The solar system is the gravitationally bound system of the sun and all the objects that orbit around it.
either directly or indirectly. The sun is orbited by planets, asteroids, comets, and other things. The largest planets are called gas giants in our solar system are Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter, mostly made of gas. The planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are called terrestrial planets. It's mostly made of rock and metal and they mostly solid. Followed by a known number of dwarf planet which is Pluto and innumerable small solar system bodies. Our solar system is located at the Milky Way galaxy and is about 4.6 billion years old. It formed by gravity of large molecular clouds. Okay, the last, the eight planets, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the sun. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. As the brightest nature object in Earth's night sky after the moon. Earth is the only and an astronomical object known to harbor life it sustains liquid surface water about 71% of Earth's sustains is made up of the ocean, dwarfing Earth's polar ice, lakes, and rivers. Mars is the second smallest planet in our solar system being larger than only Mercury. It carries the name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the Red Planet. <clears throat> Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is a gas giant with a mass more than two a half times that of all the planets in our solar system combined need, combined but slightly less than 1,000 the mass of Sun. Saturn has a ring planet and the second largest planet in our solar system. Uranus, it has the third largest planetary and radius and fourth and fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system. Neptune is the farthest known uh, solar planet from the sun. It is the fourth largest planet by diameter and the densest giant planet. Class Naintindihan ba? <clears throat> Very good. So, now, are you ready for our activity today? Good. I will divide you into two groups. This row serves as a group one. This row is a serve of group two. Okay? You are going to draw a solar system and create and song using a create a song and jingle using 
the upper name of eight planets if you present in front. Okay? So, ilabas na ang inyong mga materials. The illustration board, scissors, crayons, pencil pen, and glue. So, I will give a 35 minutes to do your activity. Okay, class? The time start now. Ready na ba? <clears throat> okay. Group 1, please punta na kayo dito sa harap and present your very good group 1. Nice jingle. Okay? Group 2. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Okay, very good. Excellent performance. I really appreciate your work class. Let's give yourself a round of applause. So, go back to your group. I have prepared question. For the group one question, describe the movements of each planet in the center of sun. Another question, what will happen to our solar system if Earth is lacking of energy? And the last question, why sun is the center of the solar system? Okay, each question, 100 words, and put your answer in a one whole sheet of paper. Sa likod ng one whole sheet of paper, ilagay ang inyong pangalan. Okay? For the group 2, what can give biodiversity earth to our life? The second question why we need to study the solar system. The last question, list the four dust giants. Okay? Naintindihan ba ako? So, <clears throat> very good. <clears throat> if you're done, pass it to me. Okay, very good. So, class, go back to your seat. Prepare yourself because I we have a quiz. Okay? Get a one half sheet. I'll get a one half crosswise. Answer this, this following question. Multiple choice type. Okay? This is a five items. <clears throat> okay? Tapos na ba kayo? Okay. Exchange your paper to your seatmate. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Who got perfect? Okay, very good. Marami nakakuha ng perfect score. Who got four? Okay, very good din. 
and three below. Okay, very good. So class, <clears throat> do you enjoy our lesson for today? Very good. So class, do you enjoy our lesson for our lesson today? Very good. I'm really happy because all of you are participate in our class. <coughs> so, <coughs> before we will end our discussion for today, in a long bond paper, uh, for your assignment, in a long bond paper, draw your own planet. Okay, be creative, use crayons or watercolors to make your output looking good. Okay, <clears throat> that's all for today class. Goodbye and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.